गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर इन इकोनॉमिक्स चैप्टर नंबर नाइन नाउ सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री चैप्टर नंबर फोर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इज आई थिंक मनी एंड इन्फ्लेशन फोर्थ इज बैंकिंग देन फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवेंथ वी हैव डन चैप्टर नंबर सेवेंथ population then chapter number 8 9 is left 8 and 9 then 10 11 we have completed chapter number 10 chapter number 11 chapter number 10 industrial sector and chapter number 11 last one is emerging issues of indian economy so five chapters we have completed now we are on sixth chapter chapter number 9 foreign trade trade we already know trade is of two types one is internal trade and other is foreign trade means internal trade we have already done in last chapter chapter number 11 internal trade and external trade external trade internal trade is also known as domestic trade and external trade is also known as international trade or foreign trade foreign trade so total there are two types of trade on the basis of location internal trade external trade internal trade are those trade which take place means business activities which take place within the geographical boundary of the same country that is called internal trade external trade when trade relation is established between two or more than two countries जब दो या दो से ज़्यादा देशों के बीच में व्यापारिक संबंध होते हैं उसको फॉरेन ट्रेड और एक्सटर्नल ट्रेड और इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड कहते हैं now chapter is foreign trade now why there is a necessity of foreign trade why we have to establish trade relation with other country what is the reason behind this so answer is given or topic is reasons for international trade so first topic is reasons for international trade now what are the reasons for international trade or why we are establishing a trade relation with other countries we all know in simple language we all know that all countries are not equally efficient some countries are advanced in technology in some countries natural resources are available in abundant quantity in some countries labors are available in abundant quantity some countries are advanced in medical field some countries are advanced in electronic item for example china china is very advanced china japan very advanced in electronic field so far as medical field is concerned britain america they are very advanced in medical field so different country in the same way gulf countries saudi arabia then iran they they such countries have crude oil in abundant quantity then if you take the example of gold gold is south africa gold is available in abundant quantity means all countries are not equally efficient some countries have some natural resources in abundant quantity but the same natural resources are not available in some other countries in the same way technology some countries are advanced in some technology other countries are advanced in some other type of technology they have some other technological advancement some countries have some other technological advancement that's why that's why in order to produce goods at a cheaper rate at a lower rate what they are doing they are establishing trade relation with other countries for example if if natural resources are available in india some natural resources and if we produce some products with the help of such natural resources 
and if the process is very costly then what we have to do we have to import same natural resources from other country or direct ready made goods we have to purchase from other country if it is cheaper in other country if the cost of the product is cheaper in other country as compared to as compared to producing the same goods in our country then it is better instead of using no, raw material for production we should import those ready made goods from other country that's why we are establishing trade relation in order to produce goods at lower rate in order to bring balance in order to bring balance the all natural resources in almost all countries so all countries are trying to establish trade relation so that very easily very easily at lower rate without any difficulty they can bring a balance in all types of goods and services regarding production now what are the reasons for international trade first point is difference in factor endowment in various countries first point difference in factor endowment factor endowments various countries differences in factor endowment in various countries now what is the meaning of this point different countries are endowed with different factors of production factors of production means simply we can say natural resources and labors means some countries means all countries are does not have equal proportion of natural resources or factors of production factor production is the combination of natural resources plus labors that is called natural resources so all countries does not have all types of natural resources in equal proportion some countries have some natural resources the same natural resources are not available with other country so that's why first sentence different countries are endowed with different factors of production in different proportion in simple language explanation of first sentence that every country each country does not have natural resources or factor of production in equal proportion besides all countries may not have all the factors necessary for production of all types of goods for example in order to produce electronic items one metal is one sorry one matter is needed zinc and suppose because exactly i do not know suppose zinc is not available in india or it is available in very very small quantity means this factor of production is not available with us and it is necessary for producing electronic items so what we have to do we have to import electronic goods from other countries that's why we are importing mobiles batteries from korea china so that is written here that it is not necessary that all factors of productions are available in the same country to produce goods it may be possible that whatever goods a country wants to produce in order to produce such goods all raw materials are not available with the country that's why that's why or this is the reason that one country has to establish trade relation with other country or we can say they have to enter into a foreign trade hence countries trade in resources factors of production and technology to fulfill their requirements in this way by establishing trade relation they are able to exchange natural resources as well as technology with each other and in this way they are able to produce goods or they are able to fulfill their requirements the first one is difference in factors factor says means factor of production endowment is belongs in various countries so all countries does not have same factors of production or all are not equally efficient some resources are available with some particular country and the same resources does not avail available with other country means it is not possible that 
for each country whatever goods they want to produce for producing such goods all natural resources are available with the same country it is not necessary that's why they have to depend on other country and in this way trade relation is established second one is cost of production cost of production for example if any raw material is available with india and for producing a particular goods we can use that raw material but by using that raw material for producing goods the cost of production is higher so that's why means in order to produce a particular goods whatever natural resources we are using which natural resources which are available with us if we are using that natural resources available natural resources in order to produce goods cost of production means expense on producing that goods is very high so it is better for a company to import such goods from other country where it is available at lower cost that is we can say rational decision should be taken by every country what rational decision intelligent decision if for producing any goods any goods in the own country in our own country if cost of production is very high means expense is very high so it is better to import such goods or same goods from other country that is the explanation of cost of production again according to textbook owing to differences owing to differences in availability of factors of production and resources means factors of productions are available in different quantity in different countries means all factors of productions are not available in the same country or in all countries the cost of production of goods and services is also different in different country for example jo countries jo countries gulf countries hai jahan pe crude oil available hai in abundant quantity wahan pe crude oil ka bhav sasta hai price kam hai that's why their transportation cost is also less और मशीनरीज में इन सब में ऑयल या पेट्रोल डीजल ये सब यूज होते हैं तो वहाँ पे प्रोडक्शन करना सस्ता है चीपर है बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट अदर कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया वी आर इंपोर्टिंग वी आर इंपोर्टिंग अराउंड 70 परसेंट अराउंड 70 परसेंट ऑफ पेट्रोलियम फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज तो उसको लाना यहाँ तक टैक्स पे करना तो इट बिकम्स एक्सपेंसिव और क्रीड ऑयल एक्सपेंसिव होने की वजह से बहुत सारी वस्तुएं जो हम इंडिया में प्रोड्यूस करते हैं दैट ऑल्सो बिकम्स मोर एक्सपेंसिव so owing to differences in availability of factors of production and resources the cost of production of goods and services is also different in different countries scarcity of factors <coughs> leads to higher price of those factors in a country and hence to a higher cost of production of goods and services when domestic cost of production is higher it becomes cheaper and easier to import such goods and services from other countries where they are produced cheaply मतलब जो वस्तु कोई भी गुड्स जो अपने नेचुरल रिसोर्स से बनाए और अगर उसका कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ज़्यादा हो या वो महंगा पड़ रहा हो तो उस देश के लिए उस कंट्री के लिए ये बेटर है कि दे विल इम्पोर्ट सच गुड्स फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज वेयर सच गुड्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एट चीपर रेट एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गेटिंग दोज गुड्स एट लोअर कॉस्ट एज कम्पेयर टू दिस प्राइस जितना खर्चा हमारा हमें बनाने में आ रहा है उससे कम खर्च में अगर हमें वो वस्तु बाहर से दूसरे कंट्री से मिल जाती है दैन इट इज़ बेटर टू इम्पोर्ट दोज गुड्स दैट इज़ द सेकंड पॉइंट कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन थर्ड वन इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस नो डाउट सम कंट्रीज आर वेरी एडवांस्ड इन सम पर्टिकुलर टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वंस अगेन सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक आइटम्स देर इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट इन कोरिया जापान चाइना Taiwan, but so far as medical advancement is concerned, America, Britain, Italy, they are very advanced in the technology of medical science. So technology, technological knowledge, or techno technocrats' minds are also different in different countries. All countries do not achieve the same level of technological progress. Means all countries. are not equally efficient in technological in the field of technology besides 
सम कंट्रीज हैव एक्सपर्टाइज इन सम टाइप ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वाइल अदर पोजेस ग्रेटर एबिलिटी इन अदर टाइप ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैंस एवरी कंट्री डज नॉट पोजेस इक्वल एफिशियंसी इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ गुड्स दैट्स वाई इट बिकम्स नेसेसरी टू स्टैब्लिश ट्रेड रिलेशन एंड फुलफिल ईच अदर्स रिक्वायरमेंट मीन्स ऑल आर नॉट एफिशियंट एफिशियंट इक्वल एफिशियंट ऑल आर नॉट इक्वली नॉलेजेबल इन ऑल फील्ड्स सम आर इंटेलिजेंट सम आर सुपीरियर इन सम टेक्नोलॉजी अदर्स आर सुपीरियर इन अदर फील्ड्स दैट्स वाई इट इज बेटर टू स्टैब्लिश ट्रेड रिलेशन एंड एक्सचेंज ईच अदर्स टेक्नोलॉजी विद विद ईच अदर कंट्रीज एंड फुलफिल देयर रिक्वायरमेंट सो थर्ड वन इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोग्रेस राइट नाउ इफ यू टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कोरोना पेंडेमिक तो वी ऑल नो दैट वेरियस कंट्रीज आर इन्वॉल्व इन रिसर्च ऑफ कोरोना वैक्सीनेशन एंड इन विच इन विच ब्रिटेन इज अहेड एंड इंडिया इज ऑल्सो मेकिंग रिसर्च इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट वैक्सीनेशन बट इफ यू टॉप टॉक अबाउट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन कोरोना वैक्सीनेशन सो इंडिया इज द फर्स्ट कंट्री where maximum vaccinations are produced for britain for america maximum vaccinations are produced in india why reason is the natural the resources which are available it it may be area space it may be resources means chemicals which are which are used for producing medicine that is available in india in abundant quantity that's why we are the largest producing country in the world largest producing of medicines in the world so in this way we can exchange one's ability with other's ability in this way we can fulfill the fulfill each and every requirement so we are taking the help of technology for producing medicine we are producing medicine and transmitting or supplying this medicine all over the world in this way we are means all individuals all countries can exchange knowledge technology other things other means factors of production natural resources so that every country can fulfill their requirements every country will get all those things which are necessary in order to live a life means in order to make a standard of living in the life and this is possible only due to foreign trade means when we are establishing foreign trade means trade with other countries the fourth point is last point division of labor and specialization division of labor and specialization लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड डेक्सटरिटी इन ईच कंट्री इज डिफरेंट लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी मीन्स समवेयर लेबर्स आर वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग समवेयर इन सम कंट्रीज लेबर्स आर लेस हार्ड वर्किंग दैट इज नॉट दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन हार्ड वर्किंग बिकॉज ऑफ देर फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ बिकॉज ऑफ द टेम्परेचर हीट मीन्स ड्यू टू नेचुरल एटमोस्फेरिक कंडीशंस रीजन इज एटमोस्फेरिक condition so because of atmospheric condition the physical strength of labor is different in different countries so atmospheric condition is one of the reason and due to this reason the physical strength of labor means efficiency of labor regarding hard work is different in different countries that's that's why it is called productivity of labor labor productivity and dexterity in each country is different besides entrepreneurial efficiency entrepreneurial efficiency is also different some country in some country, countries industries are very ahead in producing goods some industries for example in india reliance company ambani groups they are very ahead in asian countries they are very efficient entrepreneurial means owner industrialist so hence differences in division of labor and specialization are found to exist between countries means we can get differences in specialization in efficiency 
that's why what we have to do this means labors in some countries is more efficient in production of some type of goods and some countries specialize in production of such goods while they import those goods and services which they are not able to produce more efficiently so in this way by exchanging the specialization of labor with each other we can bring we can fulfill requirements means all countries are able to fulfill their requirements by division of labor and by using their specialization for example the doctor who is efficient doctor means doctor of india who is efficient in that particular field who is very knowledgeable in that particular field so uh, other countries can hire their services in this way they can also fulfill their requirements so these are the factors which are reasons for because of which every country is trying to establish trade relation with other countries differences in factors of production then cost of production is different in different countries technological advancement is different in different countries and last one is labors means hard work of labor efficiency of labor productivity of labor and their specialization is different in different countries that's why in order to achieve in order to exchange these things with each other we are trying to establish international trade means we are trying to establish trade relation with other country which is known as foreign trade and this topic is completed any doubt you can ask one photograph ho jaye